Well, here we are. We are live uh, and we'll wait for some people to pop in first off. We have uh, DB Resells popped in a second ago. So hi there. Uh, as I say, wait for a few people to pop in. I didn't see anyone in the chat before. It's over on YouTube, on the YouTube chat. Didn't see anyone over there. Uh, we have a, a bit of a different episode today. It's a little bit different. Uh, it's a live stream about live stream base uh, live streams basically. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of research on the live stream, and uh, I'm going to get a few more ideas hopefully in this video, and you guys can chime in too as well in the chat um, because I feel like I'm lacking in a few ideas. I'm feeling like I'm lacking in live stream content really. It's just. It's not that it's boring necessarily, just getting questions from the chat. In fact, it's pretty exciting and stuff. But I want to do something different. I have a need, I have a, a passion to do something new as well. So I'll see if I can get some more ideas today from this as well. So Ali is in the chat. So hi there, Ali. Uh, we've got a few people uh, jumping in. We've got uh, Tracy in the chat. Hi there, Tracy. Um, and yeah, so I've waited for a few more people to pop in. So I have typed in on Google, I'm on another tab at the moment, live show ideas, because that's what everyone types in when we want to get live show ideas. So I am literally going to click on this option here, which is a 33 creative live broadcast ideas thing. And I'll go through, I'll read them off the screen for you. Um, and I'll obviously have to go back onto the chat in a second. So then I'm not missing any comments. Um, but I just wanted to kind of see if I can get some more ideas. I've got the idea the other day of um, the whole quest best questions only. And that sparked something. That sparked something inside me. And I thought, you know what? I need to get some more ideas. I need to get like, I want it so that then Thursday talks is kind of like maybe one week where it's not structured and then three weeks where it's a structured thing. Not necessarily reselling related because you know, we do bits of reselling talk on here, but it's not exclusively exclusively reselling related this show anymore. But I do want something structured, whether it be, um, well, I don't know. That's the thing. I, I don't know what I want because I uh, otherwise I'd, I'd be able to do it, wouldn't I? So it's the whole point of this video, really, to try and see if we can find some ideas to do. And then we can kind of get a little bit of structure, something different as well in place. And uh, yeah, it'll just liven things up for a bit. And then obviously some weeks, as I say, we can be more unstructured with it and just kind of do the normal questions in the chat. But it'd be cool to get some different ideas and see if we can try them out and stuff, see what works, see what doesn't. So uh, we've got a few more people jumped in the chat now. Uh, we've got Georgina, we've got Kathy, uh, we've got, who else have we got? We've got Tommy. Hi there, Tommy. We've got um, In It To Flip It. Hi there um we've got who else i don't think there's anyone else's oh no jennifer hi there jennifer um uh, oh no kernox or i don't know i think that's how you pronounce it Kernox, kernox kernox connection i don't know everyone has trouble with that name uh oh we've got a couple of pickle pickets in there as well i'm assuming that's lisa but i'm not 100 percent sure uh and then chris as well and think that's it for now but i'll probably go down the chat and there'll be another person that i've missed uh, oh there we go pleasant valley picker has just popped in as well don't know what i want the human condition exactly yeah it is it's 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 exactly that um so yeah uh oh buying space has popped in uh ads took my spanner away i can't be trusted i'll give you a spanner in a second once i just have to go on to the youtube thing once that let me mute it so then it doesn't pop up in my face um I do, away, well, I can't be oh it still didn't i muted that then what's going on that's crazy right one sec i thought you had a spanner i can't believe you don't have a spanner tracy um hang on how come you said spanner it's wrench isn't it for you uh add moderator i, ne I nearly clicked block then or something or don't know what what it was but by accident i nearly clicked bot block oh god right have i put the right person as a spanner i think so Oh, I don't know anyway. Um, right, that's it. I'm on subbing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do some ideas. If you've got any more, I'm from, a, I'm, I'm from the UK now. Oh, it's funny. Um, if you've got any ideas yourself, 
pop them in the old chat and we'll discuss those as well. If you've got any questions as normal, then obviously put those in the chat as well and we can discuss those. Um, but yeah, I am just going to have a look down this thing. I did see something because I had a look on uh, Google. I don't know whether it was this um, web page or not that I was looking on, but I did. I found something that was an interesting little idea. Uh, do a reoccurring show. Hey, here we go. Do a reoccurring show. Turn your most su su successful broadcast topics into weekly shows. This will help you build a loyal following of viewers who enjoy the content. Oh, my God. That's exactly what we're doing now. How cool. Although, I wouldn't say I'd necessarily have specific broadcast topics. But, yeah, anyway. Um, right. Let's have a look at it. Broadcast and nature walk. Well, I can't do that on a live stream here in my room. Do some art. You could even do a contest and give away the finished art to your top gifter. Oh, we're doing that. We're doing that next week. Oh, my God. Right. Does anyone mind if we do artwork next week? Oh, we're doing that. I don't care. People, are, unless no one says they, they don't want it, but because then I won't do it. Because you've always got to do what your viewers want, haven't you? Um, TT Ideas. Do art on the show. So what I mean is I'm, I'll do a, a live artwork on the show. Do Oh, I might not do a painting because it'll get like crazy messy. I might have to do a, a little sketch thing. I'm not doing a paint by numbers or anything. Do artwork on show. The only reason I won't do a, a paint by numbers is because it's a bit of a cop out in it. You know, it's like, mm, yeah. But anyway, so we, yeah, we're definitely doing that. Oh, paint by number, uh, not paint by numbers. Yeah, um, an artwork. We're definitely doing that. Show off a crib. MTV Cribs. I'm not old enough to remember that. You remember that show? No. Uh, find friends or family with really cool houses and take your views. I'm, yeah, but I can't do that on here. Uh, share your hobby or collection. I've kind of already done that. Play a guessing game? Uh, yeah, but people could just Google the answers, I suppose. But still, I don't know. Do a product review. Oh, that right. We're doing that. We're doing that. I'm not doing a paid product review. I'll do a free product review. I don't do sponsorships, as people know. Although my email doesn't get the message. I get about four or five emails every month. I kid you not. I kid you not. I get four or five emails every month saying, would you like to review this free product? Normally, it's something to do with Amazon or eBay reselling. But occasionally, I get products. Well, I had that kettle one time. Didn't have someone contacted me saying, would you like to review this kettle? We'll send it to you for free. You know, I don't know whether they'd pay me on top of that. But no. Uh, I'm going to do a free product review. So I don't do paid product reviews. I've said I will do in the future, but only on two or three different things. Of those OGs to the channel, you will know those two or three things. I'm not going to repeat them. Product review. Right. I could review. I could buy a nice little toaster or something. We could do a review of a toaster. Um, so adds no Z. I don't know everything. I don't have a clue. When it comes to um, pop culture, I don't know a lot. When it, comes to that, when it comes to that, I haven't a clue of that. Um, American artist who had a, a t weekly TV. Oh, that was Bob Ross, wasn't it, with the hair? Didn't he have that hair, that weird, funny? Anyway, I don't know. I told you I'm not very good with pop culture. <laughs> well, I said that. I mean, I just got anyway. All right, okay, okay. But I still don't know everything. I don't know everything, God damn it. I don't. Well, okay. In the news. Look what's happening in the news. Okay, okay. Uh, all it'll be is about the coronavirus at the moment. So we'll postpone that one a little bit. Uh, until that's died down, because I'm not bloody talking about that for an hour. Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll possibly look in the news. Although the news is very negative. In fact, it was that bit too. Meh. I'm going to put a little star next to it to say meh, maybe not, because it's a bit negative. I don't want to get me shows into a negative downward spiral. Give a how do a how to broadcast. Everyone has interesting skill or expertise. Teach it to your viewers. They will. Revo <laughs> they will. Oh my god, that's so funny. They will. will uh, I can't even speak. They will reward you with gifts and follows. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Yeah. I'd be doing that all the time if I thought that was the case. <laughs> do prank call. Oh, prank calls would be a good one. Broadcast a local event. Give some advice. Well, I, I do that in my own terrible way anyway. So what's the point in that? Show off your pet. Well, we've already done that. Have a costume party. We've kind of done that. Um, again, host trivia. I've talked about. Give a history lesson. I'm, I'm not too good on history in, in terms of a deep dive of it. So I couldn't do that. Pimp my ride. Well, we can't really do that in this room. Uh, shoot. 
unless we're making a euphemism for something else there i don't know shoot a music video i've already done that but we can't do it in the room on the live show celebrity news no one really wants to hear about that i don't know well, some people might television show recap oh that could we've done that before i could work quite well what's on my oh no we're not doing that what's on my iphone do a broadcast where you show all of your smartphone apps that you use every day. oh actually that's not so bad i thought it was going to say do it so then you show your history and every like proper everything like proper oh no do a fashion show we could do a fashion show but it would it would be a bit cramped in here but we could do it we could do that so i might write down that hey we're doing all right we've got quite a few ideas here. as i say if you've got any ideas for future live sheet streams whack them in the chat if you've just joined what I'm doing is, uh, you know, we need mix it up a bit on Thursday Talks, basically. So I'm just trying to get a few live stream ideas. I've typed in Google uh, live stream ideas, the obvious little thing that everyone types in Google. Um, you choose what I do stream. Oh, my God. No, that is bad. No, we're not doing that. You choose what I do stream. Oh, we'd have some weird things going on. No. No, we're not doing that. I bet everyone, I bet everyone's saying in the chat, yeah, do that, yeah, do that. I'm like, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, do a gaming broadcast. No, nah, I'm not bothered about that. I'm not really dancing for diamonds. No. All right, okay. I don't even know what dancing for diamonds is. Right, let's have a look at the chat. Right then, let's have a look, have a look, have a look. Oh, great for pre-recorded. Yeah, product reviews are more kind of pre-recorded, aren't they? Um, I have a vid that has uh, 7,000 views. That's awesome. I know Fake Rachel has that, um, what is it? Oh, D Bobbler, isn't it? That's got like a thousand, uh, a thousand, a hundred thousand views, which is a product review. But I suppose, yeah, um, I suppose the um, product review might be better for a pre-recorded, I'm not sure. Just paint happy trees and wear an afro with, with job done. Oh, that's brilliant. See, I know, I, and I'm no longer invisible. Uh, it's not that you're invisible at, at all, but it's just that there's so much chat going on that sometimes I miss people's comments. It's hard. Um, right, like someone called Rick's joined. I don't know who's Rick, but oh yeah, is it Star City Picker is Rick? Right, okay, I think I've got that. Um, maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Uh, right then, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see, hi all, out with mega flaky, flaky internet here. Think my phone is dying. Oh, bloody hell. You know what? I've got I've got two power banks now, so my phone never dies pretty much. It's so good. Because what I do is I plug one power. This is so bad. I spent 80 quid on power banks just so I can have two. I've got a power bank down there, power bank in here. Right? No, not in here. Where's it gone? Oh, here. Power bank here. The anchor ones are anchor. That this is an old one. It's it this actually uh I, I got this chucked in a puddle, or well not chucked in a puddle, but kind of came out my pocket and then went in a puddle. And it submerged right down into this puddle. And then I picked it up and just pressed it and it was working. It's like, what? And it's still working now. I mean, this is a few months ago now. Um, and I've had this for months and months and months. So these are like 20. Oh, I could do a product review on this right now. But these are uh, 20,000 or 25,000 milliamp ones. So we charge your phone. Well, at the start, because obviously we wear down, the batteries wear down over time. But the start could probably get about, I don't know, seven, eight nine charges out of it so quite a lot i would say for 20 25 25 000 milliamp but i've got two so when this one's uh obviously kind of drained i've got the other one there already charged up and boom swap them plug this one in the charge see i'm on it i'm on my power bank game i'm on my power bank game i've sorted it but yeah so um yeah, you need everyone needs to do that. Everyone needs to have two power banks because I mean you can't survive on one. You just ca you cannot survive on one. Walk us through the closest historical site. Don't even know where that is. The closest one, I, I, I haven't a clue really. Hi, I just sent you a photo of a painting of a fairy forest I painted. Oh, cool! I'll have a look. What is it on Instagram? I guess it's on Instagram because I don't really do Facebook much. Nope, it's not on Instagram. It must be on Facebook. Oh, well, I'll log in in a bit. I've not. Oh, no. Well, I could do it now. Let's have a check. Do, do, do. I've been on Facebook a little bit more recently, although I don't really own it much. Oh, no. Wait, there's no message on Facebook. Unless it's loading. One sec. Still loading it a bit. 
No, no message on there. Maybe it was somewhere else you've sent it to me. I'm not sure. Uh, do, do, do. We are in the middle of it, Zaheer. Get it together, man. Yeah, we're just in the middle of, of stuff, really. Uh, do, do, do. Right, let me go down. Let me go down. Oh, God, load of, load of chat here. Load of chat. Hi, BCP. Hi, Andrew. Oh, it's Andrew in. Hi there, Andrew. Uh, I send you, I've already seen that. Do, do, do. Let me have a look. Um, so let's see, pick a... Uh, anyone else interested in seeing Krillin and ads on a live stream together? I think I've seen Krillin on uh, a live stream with Nick Aiden. I think it was. I think it was him on a live stream with Nick ages ago. Talking ages and ages ago. Does he know about my channel? I don't even know whether he does because I've never, I don't think I've, does he have a channel as well or not? I'm not sure. I've, I've heard of his name and I've seen him on Nick's chat, I think, but I don't know whether he's actually got a channel and stuff. Well, he must do. Because if you're saying uh, you want to see him on a live stream with me, you must know of him from his channel, right? So logically, he probably does. No, it's on Facebook. Oh, I just went on Facebook. It's not on there. Oh, it might be on my page, not on my actual personal inbox. One sec. Yeah, it looks like it might be on my page. One sec, one sec. I don't actually use my Facebook page that much. I should really just take it down because I don't really use it, but. So anyone who messaged me, it messages me on there, he's probably getting left in the dark. Well, for a few weeks at least. Uh, oh, here we go. Twenty? No, wait, that's twenty eighth. When it's still not in there. It's still not in there. Where? Where? Is Am I on the right? This is the right page, I think. I don't want to. I think it's the right page. I don't know. I can't. I'm going in my inbox. It says 20 plus messages in my inbox, but I can't see yours in, for today. One sec. Let me load it up again. 28th. No, it's 20. The last message that I got was last year, 28th of the 12th, 2019. Mm, don't know. Mm, don't know. Let me have a look in my notification. No, I can't see it in there. Maybe it's on my other page. I have another. The problem is, I have bloody loads of facebook page let's go on the other page let's see if this is it's in here oh come on bloody hell it takes forever to load this oh also have you got any questions whack them in the chat ah inbox six on this page <laughs> i have too many facebook pages and stuff well right, okay this one's ages ago no oh wait wait no no yes 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 Yes, I've got it. Cool. I, how did you even know about that page? This page is way old. This page is about five years old. How did you know about this page? Wow, that is you've done that. That is nice. And the way you've just done the, the little white bits on the trees as if to, to give that glow from the light in the middle. That Wow, that is really, really good. And you've done it just nicely with the... Um, how, how do you, well, it kind of leaves, isn't it? But also there's kind of little bits of grass on the bottom. You've just, you've dabbed it quite, I, I bet you've done that with a sponge, haven't you? Like just dabbed it with a sponge, just, just slightly, it looks like you have, but it's nice, that. And then the real, the real nice thing about that is that at the top left-hand corner, you've got that lovely green, and then you go into this really sort of aqua blue, which is also infused in with uh, darker blue. And it just oh, it just sits really, really nicely. And then you've got that darker tree in the back. Yeah, I do like that. I really like that. I think that's quite nice. Uh, uh, but what's that thing there near the house? Oh, is it a pumpkin? Looks like a pumpkin or something. I like the mushroom as well. The mushroom's nice. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know anyone even knew about this uh, Facebook page I've got. Right, yeah. So we sorted that out. Sorted that. Right. So we need to get on and do some more live show ideas. So let me... Uh, 65 ideas for your live stream broadcast topics. Cool. Going to get some good ones here. Right. Uh, before I get on with that, I'll just have another look down the chat so I'm not ignoring anyone. If you've got any questions, as usual, whack them in. I'm not, not doing questions tonight. I'm still doing questions. Um, so if you got any, then uh, we can have a little break for questions as well in between having a look at a few ideas. Uh, oh, we've got Rob. Uh, Rob? Uh, Rob? Is it what? Well, it's not Rod, is it? It's Rob. I nearly said Rod. We've got Rob in. Uh, to the Aussie VHS Thrifter. Uh, do, do, do. Where are we here now? Quillin has a channel. He just doesn't post much anymore. Ah, right. I know he's been around for a while. I know that in terms of like in the community and stuff. I just didn't know whether he had a, a YouTube channel. 
add to William Robinson. Yeah, I didn't even know anyone knew about that. That um, I didn't know anyone from the reselling knew about that account or that not that account, but that page on Facebook. I'm not doing yoga. I'm looking forward to seeing the yoga sessions, money man. Hey, you could do that, couldn't you? What what type of yoga are you going to do? Half a yoga or large? What is it? Large yoga or something like? Because different types of yoga, isn't there? Or back to yoga. That's another one. But I mean, half a yoga is the one that, that everyone knows. The physical positions one, the downward dog, and all the rest of it. But then you have. Uh, back to yoga, which in Hinduism, I think it's in Hinduism, is personal devotion to a god. So you might choose Vishnu, and that would be a form of yoga as a path to moksha, or moksha being enlightenment in in the Hindu idea of it. And then you have Raja Yoga, R A J A, which I think is a form of yoga. It's like the goal of yoga, but it's also a form of getting to the goal. It's very hard to understand actually i think possibly it focuses and i, I can't really be sure because i've not done too much research into this specific form of yoga but i think it focuses quite a lot on the breath um and i think in sanskrit it's like panorana or something i, I can't pronounce it but uh, let me type in the eight, eight limbs of yoga because it's on there eight limbs of yoga it is on there it's uh the breath on sec. That's it. Pranayama, I think, is breath. Pranayama. Uh, let me double check here. Yes, pranayama in Sanskrit. I, I think it's Sanskrit anyway, that language. Um, and then you have another path to moksha is uh, the one that I favor, uh, jhana, jhana, jhana yoga or something like that, which is the path of intellect and will. So willpower and intellect. Uh, and that's another form of yoga. So you see, everyone thinks that yoga is just half a yoga, which is the, the positions. But in fact, yoga in its true sense is, is bringing all of these things together. So doing a little bit of jhana yoga. I mean, maybe with the exclusion, I mean, you don't necessarily have to do back to yoga of personal devotion to a, a god. But it would be good to kind of bring them all together. But what most people do is choose one path. So they'll go jhana yoga or they'll go back to yoga or they'll go half a yoga or whatever. And they'll choose one path and that'll be kind of it. Um, but it would be good, I always think, you know, to combine them together, to draw them all in together and do a little bit of both, but a bit, a little bit of each. And but saying that I don't really practice half a yoga, I'm not really a half a yogi or anything like that. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing with it with regards to the positions and stuff. Um, but yeah, but I mean, jhana yoga or jhana or however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. But that one, that appeals to me, the, the path of who am I, the path of, you know, intellect and all that. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting one, yoga. But I think that it is one of those common misconceptions where people these days just think, you know, yoga is just that, is just the physical things. And it's not necessarily that it's, combination of all these different things and, and the ultimate goal is union with well i mean i suppose the hindu would say brahman or or the godhead or someone else might say union with the universe uh it really depends on your personal preference a bit really but yeah you i mean so you you don't have to do half a yoga you could do you could actually do a form of yoga um on uh, you know on a live stream or something that's working out by intellect um, who you are and the deep nature of uh, of what it means to be a part of the universe and a part of existence and stuff. And then technically you're still doing yoga. It's just a different form of it. Um, so yeah, you could do that and you could get away with, with, with labeling it yoga because yeah, okay, some people who, you know, maybe aren't as understanding of what yoga means, they might be like, hang on, you're not doing yoga. But the people who truly know what it means to do yoga will know that you are doing a form of it at least. Um, so you know, screw the people who don't know what it is. I mean, they just need to get more knowledge on it, basically, don't we? <laughs> oh, is that bad? That's probably bad. Oh, well, I don't care. Right. Let's go down. Let's go down. Uh, somewhere, there's another Ads Robinson wondering why he's getting spammed. Why? What do you mean spammed? I'm not getting spammed. No one's even spamming me. I don't even get what you're on about. Um, Steve, enjoyed seeing you in makeup the other day. Oh, why did Steve have a makeup thing? I've not been watching many reselling vids at the moment, to be honest. Who have I watched recently? I don't think I've watched any. I've just been watching, like, the random YouTubers that I watch. I've been watching a lot of reaction videos and commentary videos and stuff. 
of of late. I've been enjoying them. I don't know why, but you go you go through periods, don't you? Oh, well, I need a drink of my tea. Eh? Mm. Oh god, I need to drink more spearmint tea. I like spearmint. Anyone had spearmint tea? I love it. Right then, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ads. Nobody asked about you. <laughs> Oh, oh, Andrew said, Andrew said, Andrew said, Andrew said about yoga, right? Andrew said about yoga, all right? Okay, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> well, and you could literally say one word to add and you could talk about it for right now. I could, I could do it, yeah. I could literally do that. Well, not on everything, but on, you know, on certain things. If you gave me a word, I could talk about it for ages. Uh, oh, yeah, that was it. We were going to go on this ideas thing. Right, okay, let's have a look at this. In this post, you'll get loads of topics for your Facebook Live broadcast and Insta around live stream. Don't care about that. Do a, a live Q&A about your topic of interest. Oh, well, that's very selfish, isn't it? Your topic of interest. Why can't it be the audience's topic of interest? Uh, share the setup. <laughs> Not that I do that. I'm such a hypocrite. But anyway, uh, share the setup at your office or studio. Well, you know, it's not really a a great setup is it here um share your favorite insert your area of expertise tips no we're not going to do that i do that far too much give a cooking demonstration oh there we go andrew andrew's obviously seen this post um do a get ready with me scope putting on makeup doing hair picking outfits for an event is everyone in the retailing community just looking at this post because it seems like steam might have done something like this yesterday according to the chat my god i don't know Share your favorite place. Uh, can't really do that. Show off your adorable pet. We've already done that. Read your blog post aloud or do no, 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 I can't go to that. Mini webinar. No, no, I can't go. Offer relationship advice if you're a love coach. I, I always wanted to be a love coach, actually. That was when I was in high school. I wanted to be a well, I didn't call it love coach, I called it love doctor. And um, that sounds so cringy now. Um, yeah, if you're a lo love coach for dating. If you're an entrepreneur, what about a team or client relationship? Oh, that's a good idea. If you're an entrepreneur, what about team or client relationships? Yeah, we could do a little uh, team bonding session on one of my live streams. That's all right. Um, I don't know how we do it. How would we do that? Well, I'm writing it down anyway. Team bonding. We can do that. We could be the best little team on the internet. We could if we did a little team bonding session. We all, right, okay, so we've got a few extroverts over here. We've got a few people that like this, and we've got a few of these people like this. So so let's all intermingle and, and get to know one another on a real, you know, psychological basis. So that then, and also a very emotional basis, so that then we can really intermingle and, and play off each other's strengths. And then every time people come in in the chat, they'll always be like, you know, really kind and thoughtful and, and um, oh, what's the word? Oh, what's the word? Ah, bugger, it's gone. Anyway, but they'll be all nice to each other and stuff and they'll, they'll, they'll evoke beautiful feelings in one another because they understand each other and can be empathetic to one another in a more transcendent way than we've ever been before. So that would be good. Anyway, draw something fun. We're doing that. Looking over your shoulder as you set up your technology systems. I don't even know what that means. Share a movie review. Oh, well, we have already done that, but I think I'm going to write that down again. I know I didn't write it down before, but I think we're going to, I think I should write that down. Share a book review. Oh, bloody hell. These are brilliant. Share a book review. Book review, possibly. Oh, these are brilliant. Share your reading list focused on a genre. Well, I do that on my philosophy channel a bit. I do the book reviews a bit on my philosophy. Well, I think I've done one. Um, read the news. I've already said about that. Uh, teach your dance routine. No, do a live workout. Maybe. Um, do an interview, uh, no, because we've already, yeah, share what inspires you, share, I don't think that's a problem for me, share your progress on your goals, <laughs> share your philosophy on life, I don't think that's a problem, I think we've done that enough, um, discuss what you learned today, well, where is it, share your, pro yeah, goal progress, that's a good one, we need to do that, Goal progress. Right, let me have a look in the chat, see what's what in here. I'm not doing yoga. Oh, you could do yoga. Oh, don't 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 be a mardi ass about it. You could do it. Um, no notification, not had a notification for Kelsey. It will probably come through at, at like close to eight. I'll actually have to remind myself to to actually go um uh you know go off before eight o'clock because I could honestly 
Oh, I could go on forever, couldn't I? My ultimate goal is union with Valenio <laughs> Romantic. Well, nothing wrong with that. Um, right then. Ads, you need a theme, perhaps, although your rambling is insane. Yeah, possibly theme we could do. Well, I think that some of these things, if I do them right, will kind of flow into the theme, essentially, or, or become the theme in themselves. So if we do a piece of artwork and I'm here drawing it, or I'm here doing something, then people, obviously, I'm asking in the chat, oh, do you do artwork and stuff? And then people can kind of share their thoughts on art and stuff. And maybe if you're not into art, you can discuss something else. You can be throwing some questions in the chat. I'll be answering them while we're doing the, while I'm doing the artwork. So then it doesn't get too heavy focused on the artwork because other people won't be bothered about the artwork. So we need something to offset that. Um, but then, like, the product reviews and stuff, that gives a focus of the product on here. So... That should be uh, a fair topic. The thing is, I mean, I've kind of moved away from the theme topic. And the only reason is I've done how many, what are we on now? 211. We're on 211. If you go back from episode one all the way up to about episode, I'm going to say about 150, I did reselling topics. So I've covered anything you can imagine. I mean, even on shows between 150 and 211 where we are now every now and then i've gone back to doing reselling topics i think we've covered motivation of motivation in reselling about four times we i mean we could you just type in on the thursday talks playlist or on my channel somewhere thursday talks and then a certain topic about reselling it'll most probably be on there so that's the reason i don't do specific reselling topics anymore it's just like i've done it all i just can't do any others I'm open to other people suggesting reselling topics. And then one week we can do that as well, add into the list of the um, ideas for Thursday talks. But I think that if everyone puts in the chat now reselling ideas, I'll probably go through and I'll be like, yeah, I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. Okay, maybe I've not done that. But I'll probably only get one idea that I've not done, I would assume. But then again, saying that, other people come at it from different viewpoints. So you never know. It might be an idea for people actually right now to put in the chat a uh, a topic idea about reselling that you don't think I've done or that you think is a little bit uh, niche or a bit to the side that I might not have thought of. Um, and then maybe, yeah, we, we can do that if I've not done it. But yeah, that was kind of a reason that I, I stopped doing the whole like just normal topics. And I've even struggled with just doing any topic. I've struggled with just doing any topic, really. Um so yeah, it'd be interesting just to just to uh, do some a few different things. But yeah, as I say, if you've got any um, reselling topics as well, you can whack them in. Uh, analyze an eBay store with their permission, of course. Oh, now that's a good reselling topic. That is a bloody good reselling topic. Yeah, but I mean, I have to get someone's permission for that. So uh, I don't know. I'll have to talk to someone maybe. Unless someone's in the chat now and you don't mind me doing it with your store. But the thing is, obviously, some people don't like to share their eBay stores on um, video and stuff. So you've got that kind of thing as well. So if uh, people don't want to do it, then people don't want to do it. But yeah, it's a good one, though. It is a definitely a good one. Although saying that, it kind of presupposes that my um, intelligence, it's not the right word, but my intelligence with reselling is... Uh, sufficient to be able to do that and to be able to draw positive and uh, and good conclusions for that person to make changes on. And uh, I, maybe it's just that I don't have as much confidence in my ability in that area. I don't know, but I would hate it if, let's say, I was to say something about their store and they change it and it, and it messes something up for them, you know. So it's uh, I kind of put myself in a little bit of a bad position if I do that as well. So, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of have to just say, look, this is a disclaimer if I did it. And you say, look, I, I'm not responsible for anything I say. You know, if you want to implement these techniques I'm saying about your specific store, then you can. But that's at your kind of risk and stuff, because you never know. I might get something wrong. We all make mistakes and stuff. So anyway, but it's a good idea. Um, right, oh, KLC's in, hi there, Louise, don't worry, I've not forgotten that you're on at eight, so I've, I've got to, I've got to keep that in my mind to make sure, because, you know, what I can do, I'll ramble, and then it'll be five to eight, and I'll be like, oh, God, I'm still on, bloody hell, what's going on, oh, no, you know, so I'll, I'm, I'm going to have to keep that in my mind, uh, we may as well go till eight, because that'll be about an hour, uh, an hour and a quarter or something, won't it, so, um, 
oh, I think we should have a show where we dissect my psyche. That would make for good YouTube. Oh, and we don't. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we haven't. But I'm, I'm not going to write it down, but if you want to, we can do it. <laughs> um, right then. I find a lot of people are doing an updated version of an old video. So maybe you've done a video regarding some information about eBay in the past. Well, I did that last year with, I, I mean, yeah, okay, it's like a year ago now. But I made sure that I did it really well. So I did videos in the past on how to register a business as HMRC or just kind of tips on how to increase your sales and things like that in maybe 2016 possibly around there, maybe 2017. And then last year, or well, actually they were, they were recording in 2018, but then I uploaded them to YouTube specifically in 2019. Uh, but they were the eBay courses that I've got. And they're actually doing quite well. I'm getting quite a few views on them, like every month on month, which is weird. Um, obviously the ranking in search or something. So, but they're pretty, in my opinion, at least, they're pretty professional videos. Now, some of them possibly aren't evergreen and won't stand the test of time. I'd say a, a few of them will. Maybe the HMRC uh, video, how to register. The registration process doesn't really change that much, at least from 2018 to now. I don't think it's changed too much. So that's somewhat okay. Uh, the ways to increase your sales and the ways to get free packaging. Again, it's somewhat evergreen. I mean, things change a little bit, but certainly from 2018 to now, they're still very similar, especially the free packaging one. So with those, I've kind of done previous, uh, you know, videos that I did ages ago and then updated them again to a better form uh, format. But if I'm being honest as well, aside from that, I just don't feel I have the motivation to go back and do a video, uh, an updated video on one of them. I just don't know. I just don't. I just because I because the thing with that is I want to do it so it's better than the other video because that's the whole idea. And then I really want to go into it. I like really do, doing a well-edited video when I'm doing something like that. And I'm just like, oh, can I be bothered with that time of doing that? So, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it's possibly something to do. But I, as I say, I did a few of that last year as well. So we'll see. I might I might do it at some point. Uh, do, 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 reviewing a store is an interesting idea. Reviewing a store. How do you mean? So going to... But again, that would be more of a pre-recorded video. I could do a pre-recorded video on that, definitely. Um, well, I could write it down. I could write pre-recorded down, actually. Yeah, let me write pre-recorded down. Pre-recorded. Uh, store review. Yeah, but I mean, I work, I'm, I'm trying to think what you mean with that. So if you, let's say, uh, let's take the example of the charity shop. You go to the charity shop, you look around it as I would do in a vlog, and then what I comment on the prices, I comment on the things they sell. I, I don't know. I suppose it would work better, and it might be your meaning actually here, of doing it with a retail store and then going around, you know, maybe even seeing how friendly the staff members are or something. I don't know. I mean, that's it. It's a bit out there. It's a bit different from the channel, but it, it's interesting nonetheless. Um, Andrew, I have to ask, but do you wear undergar... Oh, my God. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, I saw Andrew on um, Instagram the other day put that spin class thing. I think he was in a spin class or something. I don't know. Something like that. Do reviews. Right. Well, can we get in the chat, because this is something that I mentioned in, uh, well, it wasn't quite this, but I mentioned um, in uh, that reaction video that I did to my old video that I could do reactions or, you know, rea basically reaction videos on other resellers' videos. But then I kind of thought to myself, well, and I actually said it, I was kind of thinking out loud in the video. I said, yeah, but it would be pretty harsh because I'd always want to make it entertaining. And to make it entertaining, I've got to kind of whip into them a little bit. And I know that there's some people who would take that as, oh, yeah, it's just me having a bit of a joke. And actually, I, you know, I think the content's fine and everything. But I've got to I've, I've got to really scrutinize it a bit just so that then it's a bit entertaining. That's what the whole reaction channels are all about. You know, we, we, uh, we have to big it up a bit just so that then we, we make the video entertaining at the end of the day. Um, 
So I thought about that, but then I was like, yeah, but I can't really justify going on, let's say, the Here's channel or Tracy's channel or whoever's. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just thinking of resellers here. But go on their channel and then do that. Uh, and then, yeah, obviously say pleasant things about it as well, but then kind of whip into them a little bit in a, in a jesty, friendly sort of way. Because um, I think it, it could just come out as pretty bad you know it could just come out the wrong way and I, I don't want that to happen necessarily it's not something that I would like for um me to come across in that way even you know even though I am just joking but it could come across in that way uh but saying that I could do as you've stated there reviews that aren't necessarily reaction based videos on other people's videos or channels so not necessarily ripping into people uh not even necessarily saying that much bad but simply just you know looking at the videos and chatting through the videos and stuff that is something i could do um but again it presupposes a level of um me on my high horse you know what i mean like so who am i to judge really like if we're being honest who am i to judge i'm no one to judge so and they can judge me just the same so uh, it's like, well, you know, it feels like I'd get on my house, but it is something I really want to do. I think it would make great content. I think it would be really, really cool. Um, but again, it's just, there's a friction inside of me. Like there's one part of me saying, yeah, it, it would be brilliant. But at the same time, I might take it a little bit OTT and then, it, you know, it, it might fall down a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, it's an interesting idea. So uh, do review. I will write it down though, because it is something that I've, I want. I w if I can find a way to do it that's nice, then I will. I mean, maybe even if people put it in the chat now, if they don't, like, for example, if there's YouTubers in the chat now, if you don't mind me doing a video like that, and of course, I would put your link to your chat to your channel in the description of that pre-recorded video, because obviously I'm reviewing the channel. Um, and then, you know, I could, I could do that. But, you know, it's just, I, I don't know whether people would particularly like that, you know. Um, but I suppose there is that does have to be an element of trust that I'm gonna be I'm gonna restrict myself a little bit. I won't necessarily say like terrible things or anything. Uh, and I know that the people who trust me will trust me in that. Uh, but those who won't won't. So you know, there's that side of it. But yeah, um, channels will be. And do you mean um, favorite YouTube? And do you also mean um, non-reselling channels or not? With you, favorite channels. Because, I mean, I'm thinking try and keep it reselling, you know, kind of more reselling based uh, and do it on reselling channels. And it's just interesting, man. But, I mean, yeah, I was just going to say, actually, that you kind of see the video twice. So, for example, I just had the thought, if I do a, uh, a reaction or a, a review of a certain video on someone's channel, people will then say to me in the comments, I know they will, like, oh, yeah, but basically we've already seen that video on someone else's channel so it's basically just like the same content recycling um but i don't know anyway there's a lot of angles to it there's a lot of an angle to it i i, I nominate z's famous leg cramp video bloody hell that's funny uh i'm so hi ad sorry i missed the beginning we'll watch it back oh no worries joan thank you very much for popping in um all oh, right okay he's quick do do what's that He's quit uh, DH. I'm not going to say what that actually stands for, but DHOTW. Uh, why has he quit that? Why has he quit? Is he taking it a bit too far or something? Or I don't know. Wasn't there a post? I went on Facebook before, actually, and I swear I saw a post from him in a group or something. I didn't read it much, but I think I did see the, the letters DHOTW or whatever. I don't know. I can't I can't see. It's not there anyway. I'll have to. Oh, here we go. Wait, yeah. So try and work over it. I do uh, YouTube is fine with that. No, I could do, I do a video about joining. Oh no, it wasn't about no that post wasn't. No, I no, I've not it's not on that. It's not there. Anyway, no, so um yeah, but what do I have to talk about? And I don't again, I don't really want to steal Tom's idea. That's kind of just blatant stealing. I mean, it, it, it's mental. I mean, there's been times in the uh, in the past where someone's put out a video, right? And this is so... It happened with George the other week. And I know that I can't... I, and I think... I don't know whether I've actually talked about this on a video. But I don't think I have. 
But you may have noticed, and it's in the past now anyway, I've completely forgot about it, but it just come up now. So um, George did a video reacting to his first video, and I saw it on my timeline. And I had already scheduled, right, my video, my reaction video to my first video. I kid you not, right? I had scheduled this days before, and I thought, oh, crap. Oh, my God, now I'm just going to seem like I've copied him. So then what I did was I actually, uh, I had had that video scheduled a few days after George had just put his up. But what I did was I scheduled it for the next day. So then people would know, oh, hang on, he's not been able to produce that video in, in like literally 24 hours or so. Because it was a somewhat, well, I wouldn't say it was really well edited, but there was a bit of editing in there and stuff. So I, w I hoped that people would have just thought, oh, right, well, actually, it's just a case of, they both done the videos at the uh, at the same time, and it's just randomly worked out like that. But if people took it as if I've stolen the idea, then that's fine if you want to believe that. But I'll always know that I didn't, and it I just it was just coincidence that I had bleed on that reaction video, and he had done it. it was, but it is weird in life how that happens. You know how people are on that same wavelength at the same time, and then they just do it. it, it it's it's odd how I... And I'm not just talking about YouTube, just in, in general, in general life and stuff. People say the same things at the same time and stuff. You know, when you meet up and... I mean, it's a Jungian concept, synchronicity, with, you know, the official name of it, but when, like, two people say the exact same thing at the same time without one of them, like, knowing that that person could have said that at that same time, you know, prior as prior knowledge... Um, so we both say it so, or, or something like uh, the example Jung gave was when a red car comes around a corner and you c couldn't have possibly known that a red car was coming around that corner. There's no way it was in your sight. But just a moment before it happened, a few moments before it happened, even though it wasn't in your sight, you think of a red car or something or you just randomly think of a red car and then it comes around the corner. And you're like, what? How did that's weird? That's weird. And I've had that a lot in my life. I've had so like it's almost uh quite a few times a week, actually, I would say. I mean, there's been times where it's been multiple times a day when I've experienced a synchronized event. But um, yeah, it, it's weird when that has, really is weird. Um, I remember as well, and it also happens, and it's not so much immediate synchronization, but um, what I've had is weirdly, and I still class this as a bit weird and mystical and, and odd, um, is one i remember i was uh, i was going on the bus right and and the night before i was trying to think of an actress's name and it was Kira Kira knightley the actress because i had watched her in a movie and i forgot her name and i didn't google it or anything at the time i was like oh i'll forget about it you know it doesn't matter it's not important it's not important so go to sleep the next day i get on the bus front cover and on the buses when you go to college uh there's the free metro newspaper right and on a seat lying there on the front cover, I don't know whether it was in words or whether it was words and a, a face, but it said Kira Knightley. And then, as I say, there might have been a picture of her face. And I was like, God, that's the name. But it was weird because the night before, I oh, it's a bit, no, oh, it's going bloody glitchy again. Um, but the night before, I had bloody been trying to remember that name. And then the next day, it just happened so that it was just there on the, on the seat. It's weird. I mean, that isn't necessarily like height of synchronicity, but, it, you know, it's still weird. It's still in that weird realm, you know. I mean, a lot of people, you know, a lot of scientists will just throw it off as coincidence. But Jung and also, was it the guy who invented Zener cards or something? No, that was Carl Zener, wasn't it? Something, was it Carl Zener? No, I don't think Carl Zener. Was it Carl Zener? Let's check. It wasn't the inventor of Zener cards. It was Dr. Ryland or something. I think it was Dr. Weil. Yeah, it's Carl Zen who invented Zen cards, but it was uh, Dr. Wy Weilen or something. I don't know. The um, parapsychologist he was. He was. Parasy Let me type it in. Oh, I can't know. Wy Weil. It was like Weil. Dr. Weil. Weil. I don't know, anyway, but um, along with him, he had actually done some experiments and stuff. And it wasn't like conclusive or anything because he was still doing the experiments and then like he had died or whatever, you know, a few months, years later or whatever. So anyway, um, they found that there's, the, there's a very high probability that it can't be put down to coincidence at all. Or, it, you know, very high probability of it isn't coincidence. And so a lot of people, you know, are skeptics will say, well, you know, it's just coincidence. And, and for a long time, I was like, I was like, you know, years and years and years, I'd be like, yeah, it's just coincidence. But now I'm, uh, there's something inside of me that thinks, hmm, yeah, but it can't just be the amount of times it happens to me and the amount of times it happens to other people 
can't just be coincidence. It cannot be. It happens too frequently. And these are the words of Jung. It happens too frequently uh, than chance allows. You know, it happens too often, uh, too uh, too much. Uh, what am I trying to say? Too much often than chance allows. That isn't quite the right wording, but still. Right then, let me... Uh, I think I mentioned you in my first ever video. I'd, oh, did you? Oh, cool. That's interesting. Um, right, let me go up a bit. Do 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 uh, and make that we yeah that's that's the thing that's what i'm worried about uh louise that's the thing that i'm trying to touch on is that yeah i mean yeah a lot of the people who i know would be fine with it but yeah it would be you got to do it in a in a good way i mean uh, this is a thing with um these review chat not review channels these commentary channels or these reaction channels they really walk a fine line i mean uh, if you've got to be really good at it to not annoy people and to also kind of bring more of an audience to you, you've got to really just, it, it's weird. You have to, um, and I see it in reaction channels, like for example, uh, I'm Alex or Will and E and, uh, and people, and I know other people have other more negative opinions on them, but I can see inside of them when I, when I look, when I'm really, looking at them you know for who they are i see that they're genuinely decent guys and that they're just kind of putting this on um but you know so sometimes you might take it overboard a bit but they're just putting it on it's just like a comedic persona or comedic front uh but sometimes they're the same might we might go a touch far or whatever but you know genuinely deep inside them you can see that kind of center of of, of somewhat goodness there um so it's about trying to yeah okay you're putting it on and you're having a joke, you're having a bit of banter, you might even be, you know, whipping into someone a little bit, but it's about people understanding and being able to portray, at the same time as putting on that front, being able to portray that inner good centre within yourself as well. And I don't know, I mean, I try and portray that anyway, if I'm being comical or I'm, I'm um, you know, maybe I'm going a bit ads crazy, I try and still you know, know that there's that inside of me. And I hope that people can see that. But I don't know if people can see that. I don't know whether that comes through or whether people can just see this character and then people associate me with exactly that. And 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 it's not. It's, you know, that's more of a, a slightly social persona and, and uh, you know, more of a, a kind of character persona or a, a joker persona, let's say. Um and, and actually, the real me is a bit more centered, more grounded, uh, more intellectual than ads, let's say, things like that. But it's, you know, it's being able to see that as well. Um, and, and I think that kind of um, quite a lot of reaction channels do it quite well. We walk the line quite well, but it's very, very hard. It really is. Well, do nice reviews, ads. You don't have to scrutinize in a bad way. Talk about the good. You can. But all I would say on that is if you're constantly talking about the good things, which is fine. If you're constantly talking about the good things, there will become a point. The only thing is there will become a point where people just get bored of the reviews. Because can you imagine I review everyone and I say nice things about them. And maybe I say a subtle little tiny, uh, you know, hint of something very, very slightly bad in there. But hardly anything, really. It's mainly just all good. People would be like, yeah, but there's not much in it you know there's not much fire there there's not much substance there you want people deep down want to see a bit of friction they want to see a little bit of that negative element so um i would kind of feel the need to put a little bit of that negative element into it um obviously if the channel is uh, is a little bit negative or whatever so you'd have to pick your channels you'd have to pick someone who you know there is a bit of a kind of uh fiery side to or something and then you can play on that a little bit but again that's where we're getting into this kind of idea of oh yeah but how are people going to take it so you know <laughs> you can riff into me i have nothing to lose now, yeah but i can't riff into the problem is people are saying it now and then um, i won't be able to do it because now people are saying it, oh yeah you can do it and i'll be like yeah but i don't want you now i feel bad so i oh, i don't know i don't know oh, i can't do it now
I don't mind if you look at my channel. Well, I might, I might write, I'll put a right down here. I might do it. I might do it. But just know I'm going to be a bit more ads on those videos. So I might be a bit like um, OTT if I do it. And I don't mean anything by the things I say necessarily. I'm not, I'm, and by no means I'm not saying in that way that I'm going to be crazy, um, uh, you know, negative towards people. I'm just meaning if, let's say, I go a bit um, hyper with my voice and the way in which I'm, uh, I'm speaking and the way in which I'm directing my words and stuff. If I get a bit like OTT like that, uh, it's only simply because I'm putting on that more um, comedic personality, essentially. Like like comedians do, you know, with comedians on uh, stage and stuff. Um, and sometimes you can see in a lot of comedians, they have like a proper evil streak. I mean, some of the, I mean, like the prime example for the real, really evil, like uh, persona uh comedian. And actually, I don't think this is quite just grounded in his comedic persona. I think there's actually some of this inside himself as well. Like his, you know, more true personality um, is this kind of vast... Uh, shadowy negative element which is obviously frankie but is it frankie boyle or Fra yeah it's frankie boyle i think it i was gonna say frank boyle but it's frankie boyle isn't it scottish guy anyway who's, who's, who's really doesn't know the line a lot of it well, well he used to didn't know the line or he kind of does know the line but he just goes over it you know it's crazy um but yeah there's some people like, i think kevin bridges i think he sometimes used to go like quite far i mean there's a lot of comedians like there's a lot of comedians who go sometimes go quite far um but kind of yeah you kind of have to because it's a different environment isn't it you know you know people expect that you're going to rip into them a little bit like you know an audience will expect uh, a comedian to be a little bit ott with the jokes they say and they just go with it and it's just funny and they laugh it off basically laughing at themselves essentially um Tom says he's quit. The, oh, I've already. Have I already? Well, where? Uh, hang on. Ow, hang on. Hang on. What's that there? Have I already been up that part? Four. How's it going? Oh, Polish Shek. Hi there, Polish Shek. I've not seen you in for a while, I don't think. I produce my videos within an hour. No editing involved. Well, got to get them out there fast, aren't you? On to the next one. That's what I'm like. On to the next one. You've got to get that backlog up. You see, if you have a thousand videos up, I said this the other week, I'm pretty sure. Thousand videos up, each gaining a view a day. That's thirty thousand views a month, right? That's about one hundred and fifty dollars a, a a month on YouTube, right? Times that by ten, that's one thousand five hundred. Times that by two, that not that, but the one fifty by two, that's three hundred. That's one thousand eight hundred a year. Then convert that into pounds, which is what the, I don't know what the current rate is, but let's just say thirteen hundred to be you know rough. Thirteen hundred quid a month. That's that's quite a bit. That's like a little. That's a nice little. That's like what's that shopping? Is that shopping? Well, it depends on how many people you got in your family. I mean, if it's just you, it's shopping. That's shopping. That is, if it's just you, all your shopping done for the year, paid for by YouTube. So I like that. So keep getting those videos out there. Get to a thousand videos, and then you know, hopefully, each one of those will get one view a day. Now, there might be videos in there, like I've said before, that don't get you any views, but then there'll be other ones who maybe get five views a day, so we make up for it anyway, you know, on an average or overall basis. So, got to get to that thousand videos, just get them out there, get them out there. And you know, you might get one video that pops off that does really, really well because you've done a right title or whatever, and it shows up in search. And that video might be getting 30 views a day. There's a video on my channel actually currently that gets between 60 and 100 views a day. And it's been doing that for me for about five months now, four or five months now. It's on about 14,000 views. My most it's most it's my most popular video on this channel. Um so, yeah, uh, that's just kept me like 60 to 100 views a day, which is awesome, you know. So there's those videos that do that, and then it makes up the shortfall. So, uh, yeah, that's what you got to do. You just get them out there, get them out there, you know. I mean, there's always the argument of quality versus quantity and stuff. And, yeah, you know, I would say always trying up your editing game and stuff. Um, but, you know, you just get videos out there as well at the same time. Try as much as you can. Uh, right, let me go down. Uh, that happens to me quite frequently. I, uh, I don't know what that's in reference to, Kathy. I apologize. It's just I've gone to over oh, synchronicity. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah, it does. It happens to a lot of people. It happens to a lot of people. Um, it's, a, it's a weird one. Right, and let's go down, go down, go down, go down. 
ads could just sing in a stream. Yeah, I could do the singing stream. We could do a singing stream. Shall we do that? Does anyone want? Is there is there any um, singing stream? What's the uh, demand? That's the word. What's the? De- I knew it would come to me. What's the demand for a singing stream? We could do that. We could have that. We had 10k turnover this one. 10k turnover. What? That's awesome. That is cool. Oh, actually, do you sell? Um, I don't know whether you do or not, but do you sell the paintings or not? Or is that? I guess that's just a sideline, isn't it? But in terms of just for yourself, a hobby. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Don't know. Uh, Crony, hello. I don't know whether I've seen you in the chat before. So hi there. Uh, evening ads and everyone in chat. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, Ashley. Uh, interesting development on the OBS, on the sync of my voice. I know you said in a comment uh, and other people may have heard, you know, picked up on this as well. I've set my delay, my push to talk delay on OBS back to zero is on 300 milliseconds. I think it's milliseconds. Um, so I'm going to test that out. It seems OK on the computer. I still don't know on phone. But it seems on phone, um, my videos, on the computer videos, it's out of sync slightly with my my voice. I've noticed this for a while, um, or I'd picked up on it months ago and then kind of forgot about it when I looked at a video. Um, So I am, hopefully I'll be able to sort it out, but I I can't promise anything because it's so tricky trying to line it up with OBS, but I'll try my best to sort something out with that. Um, But hopefully a lot of people watch my videos on computer, so because on computer, it doesn't, um, the voice lines up. This is a weird thing, right? On computer, when I look at my videos, the voice, the sync of the audio and the, and the, the video is perfectly fine. But then you look at a video on, on the phone of mine and the voice and the audio isn't matched up. It's really weird. So if I change the push to talk delay on OBS like I have, then it might mean that, yeah, the phone is synced up. So when you view one of my videos on the phone, it'll be synced up. But then it might mean that the computer side will will be unsynced. So I'm really a bit worried about it. But what are you going to do? I mean, I've had so much trouble with OBS at the moment. So, yeah, thoughtful reviews. Yeah, that's the key. Well, what I could do is what I could do. Right, A few people have said that we can do a, uh, I can do a review on their channel. I don't know whether Andrew said, did Andrew, who said, I've got, Louise and uh, Tracy wrote down. Was it Andrew who said I could do a review on his? I'm not sure. Anyway, but what I might do is I might do one where I'm being a bit comedic and, you know, might be a little bit of banter in there and stuff. And then I'll do another one where it's more of a straightforward, you know, more professional review, let's say. And when I say this, I'm going into, um, you know, the content of the channel, uh well actually no because then we could get too i might get too criticizing on that if i do that but anyway no i was just going to say i could go in cover all areas of the channel but then if i do that i'll probably be criticizing and then you know it gets on more of the negative side again um anyway so i'll do one that's more of a kind of professional review one that's more of a comedic review i think i'll do that uh, and then we'll see what the kind of thinking on of it is uh, and if people don't like them, if people don't watch them, I won't do them. But if people watch them, then I'll do them. You know, it's interesting. So then, um, you can be constructive, frame it with good. Yeah, frame it with good. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Uh, honest reviews of clothing reseller videos. Most clothing haul, uh, exciting clothing haul. Whose clothing item ignited a passion inside? Uh, I, I mean, the good ideas but maybe someone else might want to write them down because I'm not a clothing seller and I don't have any passion. Um, ads whip into me. Uh, see what you've got on me. Oh, right, okay. I don't. I didn't even know you had a YouTube channel. So, right, okay, okay. So long as you don't mind it. I hope you're not joking. Because, you know, I can get pretty feisty when I want to be. So you got to have thick skin if you want me to pop out, like, you know, whip into you. Right, okay. Haha, <laughs> Gmail, you've got... Actually, someone said someone wants to email someone, didn't me? What Was it me? Was someone wanting to email me, get my email? Or something? There is an email down below in the box, but I did see before, and Georgina's put something in the chat as well about that. So I don't know, maybe it's if you want to email Georgina. There is something... Uh, gratifying when dbg kills someone in the chat and also oh god honestly tommy why do you have to put that in the chat oh andrew refused the offer okay okay unfortunately 
Right then, to be fair, I would not want to receive some grubby, sinky item of clothing, so I would always send something in the condition. I would like, yeah, definitely, I do that. Um, the thing is, with my um, storage as well, actually, we're on 48. Right, I'm going to wrap this up in five minutes. Well, seven minutes, because I want to six minutes now. Um, what I do sometimes in my storage, I have uh, items, you know, ceramics or whatever, that end up getting bits of dust in there. I'm like, oh, right, I've got to clean that out. I've got to make sure that's cleaned out and everything, because... You wouldn't want to receive something with dusting or anything like that. Um, so I always make sure that everything like that goes out and it's really nice and clean. And I've been and there's possibly been times in the past, maybe I don't know, when I've picked up a mug because it's easily done. You pick up a mug right in your storage and you wrap it up and you've not checked inside, and there's a little in my, and I'm talking, it's only a finite little bit of dust in there. But I just wouldn't want to receive it like that. I'd want to, you know, so I, I always, you know, get a little antibacterial thing from the kitchen and then wipe it out and just, and that's how I do it, you know, because you wouldn't want to, even with just that little bit of dust in there, it's not nice. It isn't nice. So, yeah, um, that's what I do with all my ceramics and stuff, make sure that's thingy. But that was a bit of a learning curve because I, when I first started selling ceramics, I didn't really think I need to do it. But then I looked in something one time, maybe a mug or whatever it was when I was packaging it. I thought, oh God, no, I can't send that out with a bit of dust in there. So you got to be, you got to make, you know, you got to make it um, nice for the customer. Otherwise, you'll end up getting a neg. Because any, any of these little things result in a neg. Any of these little things, oh, well, not result in a neg, but could result in a neg. And you want to limit the amount of possibilities of that customer giving you negative feedback. So sending out on time or even sending out early, um, you know, doing little touches, any, anything, I don't know, making sure the item's clean if it's a second hand, you know, really nice and clean, even maybe better than the photographs that you've put up. Um, and all this will actually go towards you and, uh, and, and won't go against you, essentially. Right, and let's go. There is something on. Oh, I've already read that. You know, no reviews. It didn't go well for Tom last time. Why? What did Tom do? What did Tom's done a review? What you oh, right. Oh, I get it. I know the one you're on about. Okay, yeah. Um, right then. Uh, yeah, but I was just thinking then he did it in a more like really honest and direct way. I'd be doing it in a humorous way in a kind of yeah you know we're just having a bit of banter you know so but again it's like what i was saying there's that fine line between a good reaction channel or good reaction video commentary video and then when you're just kind of taking it over that line so it, it yeah it's a hard one it's a hard one with reaction stuff uh to me but this happened if you're being ads i would have loved to answer your question to me but this happened. You're being placed in a timeout by the owner of this video or moderator. Maybe it was a moderator. I don't know. Edit and try again. You want to rethink your mod. Uh, why? Who's uh, who are me mods anyway? Let's have a look. Money Mental, Tracy, Stu, Georgina. Now they're all cool. They're mods. Uh, DEBG. Now they're cool. Tommy. Hey, Tommy, what are you doing, uh, Mina v Vita? Why have you just... Uh... Hang on, Tommy, what are you doing? Uh... Hang on, hang on, what's uh... what's Tommy doing? Bloody, uh, let's... Uh, here now, oh, you. There, you've not got a moderator anymore for a while, Tommy. You're in a timeout, because I don't... It seemed that person was fine. I don't know why you've bloody blocked her for a sec. Right, you can have your moderator back in a minute. But I, I, I want to get to the bottom of this to see why why he's hiding all these things. Why are you hiding all those video uh, comments? LaBelle is fine. LaBelle's been chatting in the chat fine. Message was deleted by Tommy. Why, you bloody, why have you bloody deleted that message? She's fine. She was just having a chat with me before. Uh, you can have, have it back in a minute. Yeah, that hurts, doesn't it? That hurts, that does. See? See? Yeah, he's laughing now. Look at that. LaBelle is rude. Why? She was fine. She was, oh my God. She was fine. She was just chatting to me about her artwork and stuff before. We're on about work, rude. Right, let's get a consensus vote on this, right? Okay. Who thinks LaBelle, I don't even know how, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Who out of the moderators thinks um, she is rude? Go, go, right. She hates me. 
Labelle, Labelle hasn't been chatting fine. Read it back. Not so nice, Ad. Okay. What about uh, that Minita? What about that Minita? She is rude, rude. Okay, okay. Labelle to... Well, okay, I'll give Tommy back Tommy back his uh, thing then. One sec. Oh, don't chat so fast, you lot. I can't get Tommy's name. Bloody buggers. Stop chatting. Right, there we go. Right, add moderate. Right, you're back, Tommy. You're back. Yeah, rude. Okay, a lot of people are saying rude. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Tommy's back. Tommy's back as a moderator. You have to you have to query these things, guys. You have to query these things. Because to me, she up further in the chat, she was fine. You have to give you have to be fair when you can. So uh yeah. But possibly if everyone's saying that she's rude, I'm gonna take the word of the consensus of the people. So yeah. Uh if she's rude. We are going to, uh, we'll have to send her out or whatever, I don't know. But I tell you what, she does a good bit of artwork, she does. You've got to say that. Trust your ads, uh, mods. Ad well, yes, but you've got to give fair credit to where people, you know, you've got to give, you've got to be fair on it for everyone. I'm an everyone person. So, you know, you've got to think, well, you know, she was chatting all right to me. So from what I could see, she was all right. So, yeah, you've got to be. I'm gonna stay firm, me. I'm gonna stay firm. I've got a, I've got a look. I've got a look. Uh, but it's cool now. Anyway, we sorted it. Ashley, she's very passive aggressive. She's been around a long time. Always pass. Who's Ashley? Who's Ashley? But maybe we'll be messing up in blood before. I don't know. You don't mean Ashley coming in the chat there, do you? If she wanted to be civil, she'd still be here. Well, possibly. Um, right, anyway, talk to her on Facebook ads. Well, yeah, but she's going to be nice to me, isn't she? The thing is, if I talk to her on Facebook, she's going to be um, fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, but if I talk to her on Facebook, she's just going to be nice to me because everyone seems, I, I don't know why, but everyone seems to be nice to me. So, um, and then it tricks me into thinking that everyone's nice and it's not the case that everyone's nice. There are evil people out there. Um, maybe even I'm one of them. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, no, maybe I'm not. Maybe not. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, you've got, you know, you've got to you've got to think where you can. You've got to think where you can. Anyway, we'll leave it at that because it's 756 I apologize, Tommy, for taking away your moderator thing for a second. But, you know, you've got to you've got to be fair. Um and I will uh, leave it there because we've got to send people over to Louise's chat now. So I'm just going to go on KLC reselling and we're going to actually go and send the link to Louise's chat in the chat, in the chat, 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 chat. We're saying chat a lot. Right. So if you go to this chat here, uh, I'm just going to put it in the chat now. If you go to that there. Go over there and give Louise, uh, you know, some love or whatever you call it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's the right word anyway. Um, yeah, so go over there to that little link. Go to Louise's channel and uh, hopefully some people will pop in. Oh, there you go, Louise. You've got someone popped in. A couple of people popped in. And uh, I will leave it there for this week. So we'll see you next week. I uh, potentially have that news coming out very shortly, shortly which is good. Uh, so stick around for a video that's coming out. It shouldn't be too long. I don't know when. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. See you soon, guys. And next week will be a good. Uh, we've got quite a few good ideas there. So we've got good things for next week. Do 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 do